Hi, I'm Mark O'Connell. Uh, thanks for coming to my book launch. Um, obviously, you're not really at a book launch. Um, you're looking at me on your phone. Probably you're sitting on the toilet, actually. That's totally fine. Because um, that's the world we live in now. Uh, I actually briefly considered recording the speech from the toilet myself. Um, but then I thought, no, the author has to maintain a certain um, dignified mystique. Uh, so I'm in the spare room uh, of my house in Dublin. Um, so anyway, from my spare room to your uh, toilet or wherever you are, um, thanks for stopping by. Um, so yeah, this is obviously not a regular book launch and it's not um, what anyone planned uh, for this book coming out, but um, there's one respect in which it is exactly like a regular book launch, which is that uh, you have to buy the book. Um, I'm sorry you don't get any barely drinkable uh, red wine to, to loosen the old wallet strings, but nevertheless that's reality. If you're watching this, you are at my book launch and you are ethically obligated to purchase my book, um, preferably from an independent bookseller. Um, all of that aside, the book is out now. Uh, and it's a weird time to be publishing it. It's a weird time to be publishing any book or you know, doing anything at all whatsoever. Uh, but it feels especially strange uh, to be publishing a book about apocalyptic anxieties and about people preparing for the end of the world. Um, there's a definite sort of uncanny resonance to it. Like the first line of the book um, is... Uh, it was the end of the world and I was sitting on the couch watching cartoons with my son. And that's something that's been happening quite a lot over the last few weeks and I've been thinking about that line a lot. Um, and there's another line in the um, early pages of the book where I quote um, St. Augustine. St. Augustine is writing a letter in like the, the 5th century AD and he's talking about the conviction of the earliest followers of Christ that they were living um, in the last days of creation. And he says... And if those were last days then, how much more so now? Um, I think about that line a lot at the moment because when I was writing notes from an apocalypse, um, I sort of began out of my own sense of living in a peculiarly apocalyptic time. Um, and yeah, how much more so now? Um, I write a lot about people preparing for the end of the world in the book, about... Uh, you know, doomsday preppers and billionaires building luxury survival bunkers and, and so on, about people whose conviction is that they will survive catastrophe alone as individuals. And one of the major kind of ideas in the book, not that it's a book that has major ideas, I'm uh, not an ideas man by any means, um, but one of the kind of beliefs underpinning it is that uh, the thing that will allow us to survive is community. And uh, we're seeing this now, I think, in lots of big and small ways. Um, but I want to talk about um, some of the uh, small ways. I mean, they're big ways for me, but they're small ways in the greater scheme of things. I want to talk about the uh, community that helped me to write this book and is helping it to get out into the world. Um, I want, first of all, to thank my agents, Molly Atlas and Carolina Sutton, who have been um, such amazing advocates for my work for... Um, quite a while now and who I would I think literally get nothing done without so I'm, I'm really grateful to to both Molly and Carolina uh, for everything um, and I want to thank everyone at Granta Books who have been just amazing to have as a publisher of two books now both of my books in the UK um, in particular I want to thank um, Anne Meadows who has been just such an incredibly perceptive and sympathetic reader of my work um, and who I feel just incredibly lucky to have as my editor. And I also want to thank my American editor, Yaniv Soha, uh, at Doubleday in New York, um, for his just incredible wisdom uh, and uh, perceptiveness, uh, and just for being a terrific sort of editor and person to have in my corner uh, all the way. Um, I'm really fortunate to have two editors who are actually something close to um, creative collaborators in my work. Um, and I can't thank Anne or Yaniv uh, enough for that. Um, I also want to thank Lamorna Elmer, uh, who's my publicist at Granta, <clears throat> and who has done such terrific work in, in getting this book out there at such a, a weird and uh, sort of turbulent time for publishing. Um, ordinarily, this is where I would tell you to go and drink 
a bad wine or um, give you the name of the pub that we're all going to after the launch, but um, obviously you're looking at this on your phone, probably on your toilet. Um, so I don't know what else to say. Um, I hope we get to drink bad wine and go to the pub again before too long. Uh, but in the meantime, look after yourself, support your local independent booksellers, and I guess keep washing your hands. Thank you.